we will be factoring 3x squared plus 7x minus 6 using the box method of factoring. We will first check to see if there is not a greatest common factor that we can pull out. Well, we notice there is no greatest common factor since we're looking at 3x squared plus 7x minus 6. There's no x terms to pull out and no numbers in common other than 1. So we proceed. So the first thing to do then is write our first term in the first box. In this case, 3x squared. Then we will write our last term in the last box. So in this case, minus 6. Then we multiply the coefficients. So 3 times negative 6 is negative 18. Now, we want the factors of 18. Let's not worry about positives and negatives just yet. So first of all, 1 times 18 will give us 18. 2 times 9 will also give us 18. And 3 times 6. All right. Now, we want a combination of the two that will add up or subtract, for that matter, to give us a value of 7. Well, the only such combination that will work are 2 and 9. So let's think about this for a minute. The only way to get a negative number here when multiplying is if we had a positive times a negative or a negative times a positive. So suppose that we had a plus 2 and a minus 9. Well, that gives us negative 7. And we needed a positive 7. So that doesn't work. Then suppose we had a negative 2 and a positive 9. That does give us 7, and that's actually what we were looking for. So we'll fill in our signs here. So remember, we'll take these two numbers. We can put them in either of the boxes as long as we add an x at the end. So minus 2x, I'll say here first, and plus 9x on the second box that was remaining. Now, this becomes very easy because all we need to do then is factor out the greatest common factor from each of the two rows and then each of the two columns. So, looking at the first row, 3x squared minus 2x. Well, the only thing I can see to pull out there is an x term, since 3 and 2 don't have any common factors other than 1. So we'll pull out the x with the smallest power, and in this case it's just an x. Now looking at the second row, we've got plus 9x minus 6. Well, we can't pull out any x terms, but we can pull out a 3. And in this case, I'll pull out a positive 3, since the contents of the box that it's touching are positive inside. This is a positive value. Now, let's take a look at the columns. 3x squared plus 9x. Well, we see that 3 and 9, the common factor there, will happen to be, happens to be 3. And then x squared and x, they both have x terms, so we pull the one with the smallest power. In this case, an x. So 3x is what we pull out from the first column. Now, looking at the second column, we cannot pull out an x term in this case, since there's only one x involved here. But we can, however, pull out 2, since 2 goes into both 2 and 6. And in this case, it'll be minus 2, since this factor is touching this box, and the value inside happens to be negative. So, now we have factored. We simply rewrite our factors. So in this case, our answer becomes 3x minus 2 times x plus 3. Again, I encourage you to use the FOIL method to multiply to check and verify that the answer is indeed 3x squared plus 7x minus 6.